The Octonauts and the Saltwater Crocodile. We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashie. And who knows what else we might find today. <laughs> Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. Huh? I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide the fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <sighs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost. And freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. Whoa! <laughs> Happened. He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. 
but he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octahatch.